Hello there, and welcome to Cuisine with Pauline. I'm Mary, and I'm Marisha, and we're in Marisha's kitchen here in Warsaw, and we are going to be making rugula. It is a traditional treat that's enjoyed usually around the holidays, but in Poland, we don't need an excuse to eat it. We eat it all the time, and today we are going to be showing you how to make it the traditional. Polish way. There's a lot of recipes out there, a lot of ways to do it, and we are doing it the traditional way with babcha jam. I mean, jam made by a grandmother out of plums because <laughs> plums are a staple of Polish cuisine. They make everything out of plums, even jams, which go into a rugula. And by the way, what is the Polish way of saying rugula? Ah, uh, rogaliki. Rogoli Quite key. similar, similar. Very similar. So you should learn that if you're coming to Poland and you're like, okay, I want to go into a store and find some of these rogoliki. Uh, where are they? Where's the bakery section? You will not be disappointed because we have such a variety here for you to choose from. But we are going to make them, and let's get started. Okay. First thing we need to do is mm -hmm. make the dough. Mm -hmm. Traditionally in Poland, uh, rogaliki um, are made with yeast, but today, um, because we have Mary here, we're doing American spin on on things. And what makes them American? <laughs> Sour cream and <laughs> and uh, cream, 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 cream cheese. cheese. Cream cheese makes everything taste good, even fish. I'm sorry, I don't like fish. <laughs> don't judge me, but I don't like fish. But even cream cheese can make a fish taste good. So yes, uh, the dough is going to be a little bit different than using the traditional yeast. So we're going to get a little off traditional, maybe more American traditional, but it's still going to be delicious. Okay, we need um, flour mixed with already mixed with sugar, um, sour cream, cream cheese, and some butter. Lots of butter, like one cup. We're gonna go ahead and cream the butter and the sour cream and the cream cheese together, and then we're gonna go onto the dry ingredients. Um, so now the butter is all mixed up and we need to add flour gradually and uh, mix it until uh, you can form a bowl. And I noticed too that, you know, she's really smart in using these um, dough hook uh, type, type extensions and I would recommend doing that because the dough is going to start, you know, getting really crazy. So if you have those extensions for your mixer, I would use them. Okay, so right now the dough is almost ready, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but you will certainly feel it, the dough is still really sticky and we can't form a bowl. So what you're gonna have to do is add some flour and mix it now by hand to feel that it's, um, it's not sticky anymore. And also I recommend too, when you get ready to roll your dough out, um, is to get a little bit of the flour and flour the area that you will be using to roll your dough and also just to put a little bit on your roller so that just in case the dough doesn't stick to your rollers. So th that's a good tip. Okay, so now after I added some more flour, you see, it's a really nice bowl. Yes, but uh, we have to stick it in the refrigerator for about two hours. So we're gonna do that and see you back here again in two hours. 
while our dough is chilling in the fridge, we are going to make use of our time and make the filling. And we have already uh, apportioned everything out that we need, including babcha plum jam. And like, if you have a grandma in Poland, she probably makes this kind of jam and she will send it home with you. And uh, we have some here, right? Yes, this is actually a very um, special jam because this was Ooh. made by my mother-in-law. Uh, mm. She lives in Podlasie and she makes it from her own plums. So I told you, plums are a big thing for Polish people here. And I encourage you that if you have never tried this with plum jam or never even had plum jam, do it. Do it. You will not regret it. Okay, so now we're going to mix basically everything together. And we've got dark chocolate, we've got walnuts, we have cranberries, or you can use raisins too, but I don't know about you, but I prefer cranberries. Sugar, cinnamon, and babcha jam. So let's do it. And how much babcha jam do we need? Um, I think we will need, we can use all of that. You think so? Yes, to, to mix with, um, yeah, I think so. And we have the exact measurements, by the way, listed in the recipe on our website, but I think you just kind of kind of have to eyeball it and see what kind of consistency that you want. But like, I think it was like what, like a half a cup or a third, yeah. or something like that. Anyways, this is measured out, so we're just gonna pour it in. Okay, I'm gonna put in the okay. cranberries with Art Bulaswabiet's little cup here. All right, and next we're gonna put in, this is about one third of dark chocolate. This is about a cup of walnuts crushed. And we need a tablespoon of cinnamon. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Nice cinnamon, mm, it smells so super good. Mm -hmm. And about, what was like a tablespoon of sugar? Yeah, I think we can just sprinkle it on top because all of the ingredients are already very sweet. Exactly, and actually I yeah. tend to use a little less sugar because obviously the jam has a lot of sugar in it, like she was saying. All right, so let's mix it up. Okay, so the dough is out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually already um, cut the whole dough in half and we're using just one to show you how, how we will cut it. Mm -hmm. uh, first thing to do, as Mary mentioned before, we need flour to uh, prevent the sticking. So just put it there and on the top. It works really. Yeah. Okay. And now we're rolling it out and Let's try to make a round shape. It's not easy, but we're gonna try. Also, might I add that we do not want to roll this out too thin, because when you start putting on the filling, and the filling has walnuts, and just in general is a little bit weighty, and if your dough is too thin, then you'll start having issues. So you want it to be just a, just a really, you know, like a few millimeters, millimeters. yeah. So now it's time to cut. Ta -da. <laughs> uh, you have a couple options. You can use a fancy dough cutter, or if you don't have a fancy dough cutter, if you have a pizza cutter at home, it also works wonders. Or if you just have a butter knife, that can work as well. Either way, what we're going to do next is we're going to cut this like, like a pie or a pizza, okay? So there she goes, she's cutting it right now. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of rugula. And we will be putting... Really quick, I yeah. forgot to say something. That, listen, you have options when making rugula. You can have small little rugula, or you can have big, almost croissant-sized rugula. So we're making the... Like, the bigger, the, the bigger, bigger ones, The yeah. bigger ones. Just FYI, sorry to interrupt you. Keep, <laughs> let this message continue. <laughs> Okay, so now we will be putting the filling in each rugula. So what you need to do is place it on your hand like that. Take 
a teaspoon tops of the filling because if you put too much then it will just squirt out um, from the sides when it's baking. Mm -hmm. And now we are going to fold it and roll it like that. So it should look like, and a, then you like a croissant. Yeah, like a small croissant. Yeah. And now we're placing them on the cooking parchment. Yeah, and press it here so it's, yeah, like and now roll it out. Like that. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah. And just curve it. Curve it a little bit. Super. Yeah. Like okay. Okay, we've got our last one. We're gonna stick these in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. We're gonna come right back to you and we are going to create an egg wash. And we're gonna put egg wash and a sprinkle of sugar. And I do mean a sprinkle because they are gonna be sweet already. Um, and then we will be baking them and presenting them to you. So we're coming back to you in just a second. Woohoo, here we go. All right, these guys, they are ready for the egg wash, and egg wash is super easy. I've already put like a little tiny teaspoon of water in this. We're gonna mix it real good, like you're making scrambled eggs, basically. So basically with egg wash, it's so super easy. It's like painting. You're gonna grab your, your little pastry brush here, and you're just gonna just Brush it on there very nicely. And that one's ready. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. It always adds also a, a nice little effect when you pull it out of the oven. Okay, Marisha, now these are ready to go into the oven for yes. about 15 to 20 minutes, but I would just check them, every oven is a little bit different. And basically we want them to be like a golden brown. Exactly. Or so, let's do it. Yeah, let's put them in. Okay, so here they are, and it's time to test them and to make sure that they're okay. So Marisha, please. Take they the look nice, so let's hope for the best. <laughs> It's much nego. Well, we hope that you enjoyed this really fun filled uh, recipe workshop of how, uh, how to make arugula. And we encourage you to check out the rest of our uh, recipes that we have on the Jewish cuisine with Pauline. You can find us with the Polish Jewish flavors. We also have uh, cooking with friends of Pauline, Alicia Di Donato, and uh, flavors from the past. So come and check us out and we'll see you next time. Dobrze, right. yeah.